the big news in the DPRK right now is the removal of Jang Song Thak, who was removed from the Workers' Party of Korea by military forces just a few days ago. Now, the exact entire nature of his removal has not yet been made public. But what we do know is that it's very highly suspected that he was involved in counter-revolutionary activities. And there's also talk of him forming his own particular faction. And there's also been accusations of conduct that is not appropriate for a standing member of the Workers' Party of Korea. Now here's some more information that was given by the North Korean state media. The Jang group weakened the party's guidance over judicial, prosecution, and people's security bodies, bringing very harmful consequences to the work for protecting the social system, policies, and people. Such acts are nothing but counter-revolutionary, unpopular criminal acts of giving up the class struggle and paralyzing the function of popular democratic dictatorship, yielding to the offensive of the hostile forces to stifle the DPRK. It appears from the information that was given that he was trying to build his own faction within the party. It is, however, should be noted that he was uh, relied upon in his role in the party for um, economic matters. Now, he frequently did travel to China on economic matters. So uh, some have speculated that he might have been trying to build a capitalist bloc within the party. But there's no confirmation on anything like that. So we don't really know at this time. We do know that he and several people who were considered to be part of his group were escorted from the party, uh, kicked out of the party, kicked out of the building by the military itself. A notable fact of this event is that Jang Suk Dak is the uncle of Kim Jong Un. Despite claims made that the family actually runs everything, it shows that reactionary elements even in the family will be taken care of by the party. No special treatment was carried out for being a member of the young general's family. He was removed as every reactionary element would have been. It has also been stated by many anti-DPRK forces that in fact he was the one running the country, not Kim Jong-un, and that Kim Jong-un was taking orders directly from him. I think this actually clearly shows that he was not running things, and that Kim Jong-un certainly had more authority over him being the head of the party and the supreme commander. Surprisingly, that even with his removal and the public announcement of it, there's been no claims that he's been publicly executed. I mean, this is a very common thing that's said about the DPRK, is that people are not so much fired from the party, but actually executed. And then no evidence that this has actually been given. And this is one of those rare times where anti-DPRK media has not gone on about this. It's also one of those rare times in which the removal of someone from the party, especially from someone so very high up in it, to actually be broadcast publicly. I think this uh, very much does demonstrate that the DPRK knows that there was a problem and has taken care of that problem accordingly. But the dangerous anti-party counter-revolutionary factionalist incident recently took place that those chance elements and heterogeneous elements entrenched within the party in an attempt to emasculate the monolithic leadership of the party expanded their force with factionalist movers and dared to challenge the party. Concerning it, the political bureau of the party central committee convened the enlarged meeting and discuss the issue about the anti-party, counter-revolutionary factionalist acts of Chang Song Tech. At the meeting, his anti-party, counter-revolutionary factionalist acts and their harmfulness and reactionary nature were fully exposed. Chang Song Tech and his faction committed anti-party, counter-revolutionary factionalist acts of gnawing at the unit and cohesion of the party and hindering the establishment of the party's monolithic system of leadership and such anti-state, anti-public crimes of doing tremendous harm to the struggle for the building of a prosperous nation and the improvement of the people's living. I think this public statement made on The Voice of Korea does demonstrate that the DPRK is aware that reactionary elements exist within the party and that those reactionary elements do have to be taken care of. And this demonstrates that they are taken care of. And I think this shows a definite commitment towards preserving the Juche Song Online. Now, the reasons for him being removed have been uh, very vague, but also there has been uh, many complaints of him uh, womanizing, uh, partying, uh, going to lavish restaurants, and in other words, being generally, at least in personality, very anti-revolutionary. And I think the removal of someone like this shows the commitment that the Workers' Party of Korea has towards the socialist transformation and preservation of Korean society. Thank you for watching. Go ahead, rate, comment, subscribe, share on various social media. And if you want, there's some other great content here you could check out.